Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I am going to do a quick review for you guys of my jet ski cover. Um, when I was in the market for my jet ski, one of the things that uh, I think I spent the most amount of time researching was what kind of cover to get for the thing. Um, wasn't a lot of information out there, so uh, I'll share with you my thoughts on the cover that I have. I've been very happy with it. It's going on my third full season of using it, and it's not really showing anywhere. So uh, I highly recommend it. Let me give you some details on it. Stay tuned. All right, so the cover I ended up going with is a Covercraft cover. I know they're big into making car covers and things like that. Um, I don't know why I didn't want to go with the Yamaha cover. I don't even remember why, just because I've probably seen some of them laying around and they didn't look like they wore very well. Um, and then probably just the expense. I'd, I'd have to look back uh, how much I paid for this cover, but it was pretty average uh, compared to all the other cover prices. Um, and it probably also has a had a warranty on it. I'm not sure what the warranty period is I'll see if I can't find that information for you guys and put it in the description, but um, I've been pretty happy with this like I said, it's uh, all the seams have been really good on it. It looks really good um, I've washed this thing probably about three or four times in my washing machine um, just you know gentle full uh, full water in the washing machine so it takes it really easy on it but you know once in a while you get some nasty bugs built up and bird poop and stuff on there so uh, but it cleans up really good in the washer so this these covers aren't going to be completely waterproof that's what took me so long when I was first researching it because I'm trying to find something that's completely waterproof and I guess that's that's a bad thing to have anyway because then you're going to have moisture building up underneath inside your ski. This, you know, may get a little wet on the inside, but it uh, airs out completely and uh, it works good from that standpoint. I do appreciate on this, if you're, I'd say any cover you're looking at, I would try to get one of these zipper tops. I can't tell you how many times I've put my cover back on and then remembered, oh, I left my wallet in the storage bin here or something. So I find this zipper top is really neat so you don't have to uncover the whole ski. The back of it here has the logo. It's got a little reflective thing. I don't know exactly why you'd need that, but because uh, you certainly don't want to trailer your jet ski with the cover on. That's, that's a no-no. So once you have the cover draped over, you know, you want to just put it over the nose first. Make sure you get that all the way around. Then you can come to the back and pull the back corners around. And that makes it very simple. So some other cool features I like about this, they do have the tie downs. Um, so you could run a, a bungee all the way through. But like you said, I don't know the real purpose of that. Um, Unless you're in a, you know, if you have a really windy area or something and, and you, you worry that the cover is going to come up. But my covers never came off the ski ever. They do have these, uh, kind of the bungee cord goes all the way around it. So I have it pretty tight. So it's, it's got a pretty good fit anyway. I also appreciate in the back here, it goes over far enough that I can actually cover up my boarding step. I just like to keep everything I can out of the sun, so that works pretty good. So you can see overall it's a very nice custom fit on the ski. I didn't have to take any special measurements or anything, I just give them my model information. Usually what I do in the winter time when I winterize this is I just completely drain it, suck all the water out of it, and then I will uh, take and, and wrap these straps with a bungee to get it nice and tight on there. And then I usually tarp the entire jet ski. So I'll probably take you through that this 
fall when I winterize this thing. But uh, yeah, this is my cover, Covercraft. Uh, this particular one is on the FXHO, but again, after three years, hasn't really faded. The seams and the stitching are still looking really good, and it's just a, a good looking overall cover that functions well and protects your ski. Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your right. I have other content linked for you on the left side. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.